Hey, this is Gio and I want to give you some tips on how to best deal with the circumstances that we're all currently de dealing with. Because I'm, I'm sure that at this point there is a lot of questions, there's a lot of anxiety, and then if you don't live alone, there is a lot of chaos at home as well. And then there is, if you're living alone, then there's a lot of feeling anxiety about being lonely and then uh, this, the money circumstances and what's gonna happen next, how long is this gonna last? And is this gonna impact my family? And would, it, would I have to actually deal with the, the ultimate pain, which is having to have someone I know be infected and also uh, not deal with it powerfully, right? Not, not come out on the other side. So there's, that's uh, everywhere right now. There a lot of people are dealing with that. So I wanted to give you some tips on how to best deal with yourself so that you can be powerful in your life right now. Okay, so the first thing I want you to kind of consider, I want you to like allow yourself to be a practical psychologist, if you will, about yourself. And, uh, and just try it out for yourself. Don't get stuck with anything, but it will give you a, a, a huge sense of tranquility and a, and a power for you to be creative in the circumstances that you're in and in the industry that you're in. Okay, so I want you to consider that your brain needs certainty. Like people, your brain needs certainty. People need certainty. They need to know what's going to happen and how is it going to go, right? And right now, that's not happening, right? And the only certainty is that there is uncertainty. And that creates anxiety in people's lives, that creates anxiety in your life. So if you're experiencing anxiety, that's where it's coming from. It's really at the neurological level, if you will, right? That was kind of a loose term to say. But at the brain level, you are feeling uncertainty, you're feeling anxious, right? So how do you deal with that? The way to deal with it is that you want to start creating a structure for your day. You want to kind of have a uh, kind of a to-do list for yourself for the day. What are you going to do? What time you're going to do it? So that your brain feels that you got control. Like, okay, so I'm going to wake up in the morning at, at this time, and then I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to have lunch with this, I'm going to eat this, and kind of like you set up a structure for the day that calms your brain down. Yeah, and so you want to, and also if you don't live alone, you want to encourage those that are around you to also set up a structure for their day. Well, how would they like to, their day to look like? What would they like to do? Even if you live in a one bedroom apartment and uh, there's nothing to do, just kind of tell your brain, well, at this point I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna read this book. And you, you want to give some certainty to your brain. That will calm it down. And you wanna encourage people to look for that structure for themselves. That will calm them down as well. Don't tell people what to do. You wanna encourage them, but don't tell them what to do because if you tell them what to do, they're gonna resist you, and then you create more of that chaos. So you, it's about encouraging, it's about talking about it, it's about it, it having it all make sense. The other thing, I, um, and it's gonna be a little bit personal, but one of the things that I wanna encourage you to do is to take a shower in the morning. When you take a shower, anytime you take a shower, you experience a sense of tranquility, right? It's because in some degree, your nervous system relaxes, your, you feel a little bit like more relaxed. You know, showers do that. They calm you down and they give you clarity. A lot of times, the best ideas come when you're taking a shower, right? So every day in the morning, you want to take a shower before you even start things going, as much as you can, right? And the other thing you want to do in the morning is that in the first half an hour of your day, don't look at the news because that was going to set the tone for the rest of your day. So don't look at the news. They're going to be there. Catch them up later. They're not good anyway. You're going to catch up later. But don't look at the news the first half an hour. Uh, if you're going to read something, read something that empower you. Read something that you like. Give something that read something. Sorry, that gives you um, the, the opportunity to create the intention for the day. You want to create an intention for your day. If you can, you know, do some exercises, do something at the beginning so you get, you get your endorphins going. And all of those things are working for you at the biological level so you have a better tone for the rest of the day. And you truly want to do that at the beginning, right? Having said that, uh, the, the other thing I want to say is during the day, since you were all at home, if you will, give people space to be with things the way they're dealing with them. Give them some space. Like... Um, Sometimes some people are really encouraging, right? And that, that's powerful. You want to do that, but give some space for people to allow 
themselves to be in the space that they're in. Like if they say the wrong thing, just let them say the wrong thing, right? You kind of isolate yourself, if you will. Don't put meaning into things. This is not the time to fix your relationship. This is not the time to to work things out, if you will, in the sense of this is what I want to change, this is what I want you to change, or etc. This is not the time to change people because we're in the middle of an emotional crisis, if you will. We're not just dealing with the pandemic, but also individually with an emotional crisis. So in the middle of an emotion, never make a decision. So try not to fix your significant other, try not to fix your children, give them some space and do and do lead them though, if you are uh, in a family. I hope you this makes sense. If not, then uh, uh, direct message me and then we'll have a one-on-one -on -one and I'll explain that a little bit more. And then finally, uh, the other thing I wanted to say, it's very important how you end your day. If you can, don't end your day looking at the news and then going to bed. You already know what they look like. You already saw them during the day. So in the last hour, look at something else. If you, It's best if you don't even watch TV, actually, and you read, you read something, you calm yourself down a little bit, take another shower, whatever you do. Um, if you can disassociate, kind of like to calm you down, right? And also limit your, limit your time that you're on social media. Why? Because social media creates anxiety. And the reason why it creates anxiety is because it's always triggering dopamine at the level of the brain. It's always giving you some kind of dopamine. It's always giving you some kind of reward. So even though you're at home, right? Even though you're at home and there's nothing to do or wherever you are and social media seems to be your best friend, it's actually creating anxiety because your brain doesn't know what to do with so much dopamine, right? So much reward, 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 reward. It kind of drives you crazy. So anyway, I wanted to give you that. Thank you for listening to the whole thing. Um, I want to invite you to um, a daily huddle I'm doing every morning uh, with my business partner to support you and to give you the best tools for you to be victorious under any circumstances, right? To empower you. Uh, and so there's a link below so you can go ahead and register and, um, and you'll see us on a live one-on-one -on -one, uh, every morning, uh, Monday to Friday, nine in the morning. We'll go for half an hour, give some powerful tools. We come in as a community and we empower each other and then we go about our day. Hope you, hope you can join us. There's no cost. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.